They say the cure is the only path. Blast a tumor, maximum dose, survive the medicine to survive the cancer. But what if the treatment becomes the thing that steals your strength, your time, your hope, your health? Today we'll ask the brave question, is the treatment worth the disease? I'm Dr. Dino Prado and for the last 25 years, my team and I have helped patients that have failed care at the top cancer hospitals across America and those with complex cancers. And we've helped them using futuristic approaches with precision oncology to shut down their cancer. Today, I'm going to answer the question that many commonly ask, is the treatment worth it? So let's start with maximum dose. Maximum dose isn't precision. It's standard oncology. Many drugs are chosen and their dose is very high. It's given at the maximum therapeutic dose that's tolerated by the body, pushing the immune system, wiping it out often, hurting the body and causing all kinds of side effects. And oftentimes we find that 90% of the patients are on the wrong treatments in our clinical experience. According to the British Medical Cancer Journal, you look at cancer trials where historically were designed to find the maximum tolerated dose as a starting point for the treatment in later phases. Now to find that this is the treatment that's giving to everybody. That can help sometimes, but it can also bring heavy side effects, nerve pain, brain fog, low blood counts, infection, harm to the immune system, loss of hair, poor quality of life, and fatigue. But there's another hidden problem, resistance. Cancer cells grow resistant with these large doses of chemotherapy and these harsh chemicals. They can pump the chemotherapy out. It could lead to metastasis to see spread, weakening of the immune system. That's why we believe the dose and the target should be matched to you, not to the chart or to the National Comprehensive Cancer Network guidelines. But the key is microdosing, hitting the bullseye, genetically targeted fractionated chemotherapy. And here's the shift. We still use a strong tools, but they're precise. We map out the tumor first using DNA, next generation sequencing, RNA, transcriptomics, immune spatial biology, and then we genetically hit the cancer with small micro doses. 10% of the dose, not 100%, 10%, making it so the body can effectively get the information from the dying cancer cells to build the immune system. It's an immune-centric care. And this approach we have found has made a big difference in patient care. So the wrong chemotherapy, yes, it can harm you. Large doses, yes, can harm you. But if we have targeted smaller doses, we see our patients hiking, color in their face, feeling good, almost as though they don't look like cancer patients. Better quality of life, less toxicity. And that means more energy and more life for our patients. So this is all about smarter, precise care. We're not guessing. We're not just hoping for the best. We're taking aim with lots of data, a thousand plus data points versus the average biomarkers that are usually taken from, let's say a biopsy, a tumor marker, an imaging, and then everybody's treated the same versus a thousand plus more data points that are customized just to you. We want to spark the immune system because when we use these low doses, we don't wipe out the immune system. We create an immunogenic cell death where the cancer cells can actually squeeze information like damps, danger signals that the immune system can pick up natural killer cells and dendritic cells and go after and kill the cancer. This is the key to microdosing with targeted information. The next question we want to ask is why do we want to go with IV chemotherapy when very little of it makes it to the tumor? Some of the data shows us 0.7%, 2%, 5% at the most getting to solid tumor. And when the tumors are fibrous or have strong stromal barriers, it's even less than that. So this is why we're not getting the chemotherapy to the tumor, but it's harming your organs, your central nervous system, causing fatigue. So we want to go beyond that. And so there's a way to do that. Enters interventional radiology oncology. We can use a catheter the size of the hair with something called CIPI, chemoimmunoprecision injection. Now we can go straight to the tumor using PD comb beam and deliver genetic immunotherapy straight to the tumor. 100% to the tumor. Cut the blood supply to the tumor and come out with a Band-Aid with little Little to no side effects that we typically see with IV chemotherapy at high doses. It's localized, it's to the area, and we're done. So this is important, and this has been published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine and Interventional Radiology, Oncology Studies, that this is the future of treatment with precision. It's not about just treating the averages, giving everybody the same thing, but it's about going straight to the tumor with the targets, shutting down the blood supply to the tumor, and being done. Now we don't have all that neurological organ damage that we typically see with standard high-dose chemotherapy. 
The goal is to have a high local impact, low body burden of any toxins, and to stimulate the immune system to fight cancer. And this is really important because this is the key to long-term response. Now, let's move to the next part, the ultimate weapon, the immune system. I just showed you the difference between an immune-centric chemotherapy at low dose versus standard high-dose chemotherapy, which can wipe out your immune system. Why many patients still don't get lasting benefits with immunotherapy with things like PD-1 inhibitors, where we see maybe a durable response of 19% long-term based on frontiers of oncology, it's because it doesn't work for everybody. And that's because if we looked at the tumors in a spatial biology, think of a drone up in the sky, and we can look at the cancer cells and the immune system, there are gangs blocking the police, your immune system, from getting to the tumor. And this tumor microenvironment needs to change so we can make the tumor from being cold to hot. And the key there is building a targeted immune system. We can build a targeted natural killer cells, dendritic cells, using damps to go after these cancer cells in a way that we can't often do with other immunotherapies. And they're not toxic. Like we see things like PD-1 inhibitors can have certain side effects that can be harmful. Or CAR T cells, where you get a lot of these super CRSs, which is called the cytokine release syndrome and neurological effects, sometimes needing to hospitalize patients. You don't have any of this. We're using the body's own natural immune system to rebalance it, to go back into the body and fight cancer. That's what it does normally and do it in a way that's gentle, but powerful, immune targeted and immune centric using your own immune cells, not somebody else's, but your own. And that's critically important. So when you combine these techniques, yeah, cancer therapy doesn't have to cause all these side effects. It doesn't have to be harmful. It can be targeted. It can be precise for you and it can make all the difference. Instead of a one size fits all model, you're getting exactly what is the best fit for you. This is the future of cancer treatment. And we know this is what patients need because we see the patients that fail the top cancer hospitals across the country, and then we help them respond, most of them with this technology. Root cause analysis. What caused the cancer? Was it infections, chemical toxins, heavy metals? These are hugely important because if you don't remove these, the cancer can either return, the immune system stay weak, or even other diseases develop later. So it's so important that when you understand the fact that cancer patients have a hard time detoxifying, their genetics oftentimes have issues with detox detoxification, they need help with that. They need help removing chemical toxins or infections and getting their immune system corrected, getting the right nutrients, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, all at the right doses and in the right combination to help their body restore health. This is critical. This is the key to making cancer worth treating. Don't have to feel tired, run down, destroyed by the cancer, but energetic, healthier, good brain function, and moving on with a better quality of life. Less guesswork, more life. We want targeted care, not guessing care. That's the key. The immune system is the center of this. We want the immune system to be strong so that it itself can eliminate the cancer. And it does that long term when it's balanced to do that. I hope this was helpful. And I hope this helped open your eyes to understanding yes, it's worth treating it when you have precision and your quality of life can be so much better with precision. As our own published paper in 2024 showed, we showed 35 times, not 35%, 35 times better responses than standard of care oncology with late stage cancer patients and 43 three times better quality of life. And that's an even a more important metric because quality of life is everything. And so that's the key of precision targeting. You don't have to go through all of this. You can target it and get right to the cancer. I hope this was helpful and may the Lord bless you on your journey to healing. <laughs>